Picks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here, joined with Scott Steen, the Steen Roller, and Nick Earl, Earl Sports Vets. Uh, we're going to talk some college football, week two of college football, rapid fire style. Each are going to give you a side, each are going to give you a total. I'm going to ramble in between. You guys are going to like, share, subscribe. Use the promo code below. Promo code LENNY20 saves you 20% off your entire purchase, picksandparlays.net. It's where you get those premium plays. Subscription packages for college football are available. NFL football subscription packages are available. Head over to the website, picksandparlays.net. We're going to start this off with Nick Earl. Jayhawks minus 5.5. Total sits at 61.5. Traveling to the beautiful state of Illinois. Uh, what are you doing uh, with this game? We're going to take them a lion eye plus the points here for me. When we look at these two teams, both were not tested in the first week. Uh, Kansas with a 48 to three win over the powerhouse of Lindenwood. And on the flip side, Illinois got the absolute class of EIU uh, where they won 45. nothing. so both these teams coming off of exactly 45 point victories against FCS opponents. Um, and when I capped this game, I before I even looked at the line, I had this game around two and a half, three points. Uh, and I saw over a field goal, I saw the five and a half number. That five and a half number screams dog at me all the time. Uh, whether it's the NFL, whether it's yeah. whether it's college football, when when it sees five, five and a half numbers, it's doggy uh, or pass for me. And I think this is just too many points in this spot with an Illinois team that I, I'm surprised this line's gone up because uh, I, I see this as a little bit more of a lower scoring game. Um, but uh, yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead. I'll take the Illini here plus the points. There you go. Illinois plus the points from Nick Earl. We're going to head over to Arkansas and Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State minus the eight and total sits at 62 and a half. Scott Steen, your thoughts on this? Well, this is a battle between my two least favorite states I would never want to live in as Arkansas travels down there to Stillwater and Eskimo Joe's. If you've never been there, I highly recommend it to take on Oklahoma State. I got uh, I got the hogs here, man. You know, Oklahoma State is all about running back Ollie Gordon, and he uh, was not fantastic against South Dakota State last week. 27 carries, just 104 yards, 3.9 yards per carry against an FCS school. And, of course, it's a great FCS school, but still, it's an FCS school, and that's got to be a little bit concerning. Oklahoma State is always going to have a problem, or at least had the problem lately, with their defense. They brought in Brian Nardo. This is his second year with the defense, and we really haven't seen any great results on the field so far. They were 114th in the yards per play allowed last year, and they were absolutely gashed by explosive plays. They were in the bottom 15 in all of FBS, an explosive run and a pass rate. Uh, as far as the Hogs go, brought in a new quarterback from Boise State, Taylor Green, and he looked like a brand new guy last week uh, as he went there against Central Arkansas or Arkansas Pine Bluff, rather, sorry. Uh, he, uh, 16 to 23, 229, uh, also rushed for 88 yards and was responsible for four touchdowns. This is a Razorbacks offense, or defense, rather, that is really, really good. They have a very good defensive line. They brought back one of the best DBs in the Southeast Conference in Jalen Braxton. Uh, the pass rank, pass defense ranked 28th last year, and the rush defense was 84th. I look for a little bit of improvement in the rush defense. And they got off to a great start uh, last week, giving up just 130 yards. I'm taking the points here with the Travelers. I love the hook. Give me Arkansas plus seven and a half. Yeah, you can get it up to eight. I found this at eight here, ESPN bet. So get yep. over there, shop your line, seven and a half, eight. You know, do you, Pikachu? You got, you know, wherever you're at, shop your line. Seven and a half, eight is where you need to be. Uh, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. If you haven't already, use the promo code below. Save you 20% off picksandparlays.net. We're going to snake right back to uh, Scott Steen, Iowa, and the Iowa State Cyclones. Total at a whopping. This might be the game of the week, folks. 35 and a half. Scott Steen, what are we doing here? Are we live betting overs? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're a braver man than I, Gunga Dan. I got to tell you. <laughs> There's a, there's three words that are going to jump off the page every week when you see that Iowa total. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of that 35 and a half. Don't worry about it. Um, this is a uh, Iowa State team that has had a lot of success under Matt Campbell, but man, they struggle with the Hawkeyes going just one and six. Uh, this total, Lenny, you mentioned 35 and a half. It started at 37 and a half, and people said, no, 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 no. And it was quickly <laughs> bet down. 
uh, where us mortals could only get it at 35 and a half. Uh, Iowa State, they did not have much success running the ball against North Dakota. Again, averaging just 3.9 yards per carry. And now they get to face an Iowa defense that allowed just 1.7 yards per carry against the Illinois State. Uh, Red Hawks, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Red Birds, sorry. Red Birds. Red Birds, yeah, yeah. I don't think Iowa State's going to be able to get much going on the ground at all, but you know what? They're going to burn up a ton of time figuring that out. And the Hawkeyes, here's the fun Here's the fun fact about the Hawkeyes. You know they play killer defense because last season, they were 102nd in time of possession, which means the, their opponent is getting at least another two, one or two series per game, and they're still shutting them down and not giving up any points. I love this Iowa defense. Offense looks to be a little bit improved, but not enough. This is going to end well under the total of 35 and a half. There you have it. Under 35 and a half, Iowa State and Iowa. We're going to head over to Nick Earl's going to talk Tennessee and NC State and the Wolfpack. Tennessee, big favorite, total 61 and a half. What are your thoughts on this one, Nick Earl? Yeah, uh, this game is in Charlotte. Uh, so this is technically a neutral site game, but we'll right. see a lot of red because uh, it is still in Carolina there. Um, and looking at the spot for me, this one, this game jumped off the page for me for a little bit of an overreaction game. Um, and this line opened up at a six and a half. It's up to a nine and a half now uh, for Tennessee. If this hits double digits, I'm going to grab the pack. I will be grabbing the pack here if this hits double digits because I see everybody in their mama is on Tennessee. I'm not going to be on that side, though. I'm looking at the total, and we look at an NC State team where you can make the argument they did not look good last week, um, and Tennessee looked amazing. They put up 69 points, nice, against Chattanooga. Uh, they won 69-3 to in that game. Uh, NC State, they struggled with Western Carolina to a point where I think Western was leading heading into the fourth quarter before NC State ran away at the fourth quarter, winning at 21-0. Um and I think everybody saw how bad NC State looked, how bad McCall looked in that first game, and think that this team is going to be bad. I disagree here. I think that they'll be just fine. And that was just kind of like a tune-up game, and they definitely right. needed to tune up there. Um, and <laughs> if this hits double digits, I will grab NC State on the spread. But I like this game to go over the total because I know a lot of people are going to look at McCall and that offense not looking good last week. Um, and and think that this NC State team is going to struggle to score points. I think they can. I think they're going to go and be able to put up points in this game in order to keep it somewhat close. Because you know Tennessee is going to do the same because they have a potential Heisman winning quarterback as well. I, I, I like this game over the total. There you have it, over sixty one and a half. Tennessee, NC State. I think Tennessee gets theirs, and I think if NC State keeps this a game, you got to love the over there. So. Over 61 and a half from Nick Earl. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. If you haven't already, picks and parlays.net is where you get everybody's premium play subscription packages over there. Use that promo code, saves you money. These two guys right here make you money. It's that simple. Give me a quick little recap. Nick Earl likes the fighting Illini from Illinois plus the five and a half. He also likes Tennessee and NC State over 61 and a half. Scott Steen, you like the Razorbacks from Arkansas. Don't want to live there, but we'll bet on the team. We'll take the points. Oklahoma uh, against Oklahoma State, Iowa State, and the Iowa Hawkeyes. Listen, if you're watching football, folks, if you're ever going to want to watch a game, this is the one to watch game of the year under 35 and a half. Scott Steen, we appreciate you guys. As always, everybody, good luck, unless you're against me. Thanks for watching.